In this video, we're going to be talking about temp tables and persistence, and specifically how that works in a stored procedure. And this may surprise you, but it's actually a little different than how it works right from the command line. What we're going to do right now is there's an example. We're just going to say select star into this temp table called AAA from customer types, and then we're just going to select everything from the temp table. Just want to use really simple names so they're easy to spot when we look inside of, um, you know, for the tables. So you know what's going to happen normally when I run this. What happens is it makes the temp table, and then you can select from it. Great. We also know that in the system database, even though right now we see are in the Acme database, a user database, but in the system database, in the temp DB database under temporary tables. See here, we just created a table called hash mark AAA, but as you may or may not know, SQL Server does some interesting things and it gives the temp tables a really long name. But in any event, so what we do is when we create this temp table, we just made a cop, we just made it and then we selected from it. But what you probably also realize is that if you try to rerun this this code, it's going to crash. Why? Well, it says there's already an object named AAA in the database. It's really referring to this thing with the really, really long underscores and numbers after it. Um, <coughs> so it is a temp table, but it is persisting, which is kind of annoying because then what's so temporary about it? Well, we'll get to that. But what's different, and by the way, just the answer to that is this table is alive for as long as the connection that created it is open. In this case, it's not my connection to SQL Server, it's my connection with this query window. If I close this query window, this table will go poof. So when I close this, it's history. Let me show you something else. Let me just uh, hit Control C. I'm going to execute a stored procedure called temp table example, real original. Let me show you what this looks like. This stored procedure, all I'm doing is basically almost the same thing as, as over here. It's just in a procedure. The only thing I did differently is I changed the name, name of the table to BBB. So instead of AAA, we have Better Business Bureau. It's going to say select star into hash mark BBB from customer types, and then select star from customer or from BBB. Now, when we do this, you would think that when we run this, it'll let us do it the first time. Yay, there we go, there's our table. But of course now, if we try to run this the second time, should it crash or shouldn't it? The amazing thing is it doesn't. We can do this all day long. Why is that? Well, if we go over to the temporary tables and just hit refresh real quick, this, this over here is something else that SQL Server is doing something with, but the table that we made called BBB it's not there. It would have existed so quickly, and then it's gone, and it's never seen again. Um, what happens is every time you run this, basically it's going to create a temp table, and then it's going to get rid of it. The reason it does that is because every time you run the stored procedure, it uses its own connection, and it's finished. So whereas this, I can only run it one time, you know, and then it wants to call 911 on me and it's not going to work. This, I can do now, I can, I can keep doing this until my computer, like, you know, burns out or something. So, basically that's the difference. The only way I can get rid of uh, this table right now is if I either say drop, table, AAA, And then, and then it's gone. If I go back to temporary tables, it's, it's history. Whereas, let me get rid of this stuff right now. Just so you also know, I can do this again, recreate the table, and then the temporary table is here. Yay. If I just close this window, do I want to save my changes? Not really. And if I go back to temporary tables, bam, it's gone. So here's, here's what you need to know about stored procedures and temp tables. When you run a stored procedure, that temp table gets created, and then it gets flushed, deleted, whacked, you know, terminated, whatever you want to call it. Every time you run the stored procedure, it's kind of like you're doing a drop statement at the end, but you don't have to tell it because it's using the connection for the stored procedure, 
and then um, the temp table goes poof. So you'll never have that problem of having to, you know, build it, drop it, kill the connection, what have you, where you do in T-SQL.